What's up, bye guys, and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. This isn't my first time trying to record this episode. I have been encountering some issues both with my hard drive and with the frame rate. For some reason, Scrap Mechanic hasn't been hitting the frame rates it should be, and I'm not sure why. I've tried looking through my settings and all that, but I'm getting about half the frame rate I normally would with a creation, and in an empty world as well, I've been getting half the frame rate I normally would. I'm not sure why. I don't know how to fix it, and I do apologize for the frame rate for this episode. So without any further ado, I'm going to actually get into this episode. Now I would have liked to have been able to start in the garage, but unfortunately I am not able to because A frame rate and B the first time I tried to do it, I was actually starting in the garage, but I did have some issues with that. But I do apologize. This is a Humvee. It's kind of a crossover from another game I've been playing. Those who haven't watched it. It has been Squad. Squad is a multiplayer oriented battling military simulator to some extent. I have really been enjoying it and it has had two episodes in the channel. I have been playing a lot of it off the channel as well. But this is inspired by that game. This is an indirect fire Humvee. And not only does it look nice in my opinion, but it also is fully functional. It does have double wishbone on all the wheels. The turret up there does turn, it does make sounds, and it's kind of fun just to play around with. Unfortunately, I don't have anyone here to play with me, so I don't have a gunner that can gun while I drive, but I will stop and I will look at that in a little bit. As for driving, it does use full WAS and D. This is not an off-road vehicle and this is not a speed demon. It's more aesthetic than it is functional in the driving sense. The suspension, all that does work and does work quite nicely, but the engines are turned down to prevent it from rolling over. This is made out of metal, which is something I have stopped doing for the longest time, but because this is an armored vehicle, I thought it was appropriate to have metal on it. Now the frame rate is actually making it kind of hard to drive because I am having some input lag actually. I don't know what that is. If you have any idea why the frame rate is tanking the way it is, please let me know. Because this is god awful. So, driving around, it's not anything special, it's not anything grand. The suspension itself looks nice while it runs and it moves and it bounces, it does look really nice. But there's nothing really over the top about it. I do want to get over here to some of these bumps so I can play with those, but we will get out in a minute to play with the gun as well. Oh, oh, and we've rolled it. Unfortunate. Are we going to roll it back? Crouch on the tires a lot. If you get that reference, thank you. But if not, oh well. Um, now, I do want to go over those bumps one last time and then we will hop into the gun. I will show that off. Because it, it, in my opinion, it ties this whole thing together. Aesthetically, it's okay, driving it's okay, but the gun itself is kind of what ties it all together and I really wish I would have had someone to be here and play on the gun, because that would have made it just that piece de resistance, put the cherry on top of the cake, kind of. And that's it with the bumps. That's unfortunate, I was hoping that'd be a little bit longer. So let's set up overlooking the canyon. Let's get into the gunner seat, which is just behind the driver. Now in a normal one, you would have like a display screen here, but unfortunately you really can't do that with the detailing and scrap mechanic. And as well in squad, you would actually be looking down the camera of the gun, 
but because there is no camera and scrap mechanic we cannot do that but the game uh, or not the game the gun the gun aims with WASD S lowers the gun W raises the gun D turns right A turns left and you can aim up the gun so let's aim at the big water barrel over there and press 2 now it's supposed to be making a sound it's supposed to be repeating but the frame rate does kind of mess with that sensor I have noticed that the sensor can only update as fast as the frames are so if the frame rate gets low the sensor won't update properly and it's just a pain to deal with normally it would sound relatively nice that sounds a bit better not as fast as I would like it to but it does sound pretty nice but other than that that's really it for this creation the turret and the driving and it does look quite nice in my opinion it is a little bit longer than I would have hoped to make it but that is because I do have two driver seats stacked back to back that does it make it a little bit longer than it should be but overall I'm really happy with this hopefully this will be the last time recording this because this is actually the third time trying to record this and it hasn't really gone very well so I am gonna go ahead and end out the episode here if you did enjoy the episode please leave a like if you have any suggestions for future episodes please leave them in the comments down below if you enjoy the channel enjoy what I'm doing please subscribe it helps a lot and right now shares help out the channel the most so if you do want to help out the channel please share the episode with a friend thanks for stopping by thanks for sticking around and until next time peace